Without a doubt, in the first critical months of this virus, the media mob accused the president of overreacting at worst. And I'll even say early on, it's understandable considering we were all being lied to by the Chinese government. But of course, the mob races to racism. President wasn't engaged, they say. Well, while they were impeaching him and the mob pushing the impeachment, while the president was implementing the travel ban that they were calling xenophobic, hysterical, racist, and fear mongering. Well, the president acted sooner than anybody, 10 days after the first diagnosed case, known case of coronavirus in the country. Wow. How many more Americans might have contracted this disease? Tens of thousands. How many more might have died? How worse could this have been if the president didn't act that quickly with the ban and subsequent bans and quarantines? Yeah, they were impeaching him. They were hating him at the same time, which they always do. They played down this disease over and over again. We're just beginning to touch the surface. Take a look. People should be more concerned right now with the flu in this country. A lot of people are concerned about the coronavirus because they're hearing a lot of news about it right now. But the reality is comparing it to the flu, for example, it's not even close to being at that stage. Sanjay, you were telling us the last hour that we there's an important context we need to keep this in, and that is that the flu mm. is more deadly. Yeah, I mean, you know, this is one of the, the ironies, I think, that always comes up with this. Take a look at the numbers. How worried should Americans be about coronavirus? Coronavirus is not gonna cause a major issue in the United States. Half of the people in America do not get a flu shot and the flu right now is far deadlier. So if you're freaked out at all about the coronavirus, you should be more concerned about the flu and you can actually do something about it and get a flu shot. I'm not blaming them, facts changed all throughout this crisis, but they were wrong. The president on January 31st was right. They can't ever say, you know what, I didn't agree with it, but he was right. His travel ban, quarantines, aggressive action. Well, 10 days after the first known case in the country, it saved lives. How many? We'll never be able to calculate. Naturally, right on cue, the media mob, they shift their smear tactics. Suddenly, according to the mob, instead of overreacting, the president was actually underreacting. Now he's overreacting. They can't make up their mind. February 26th, oh, the Times ran another unhinged op-ed. Let's call it. Trump virus. If you're feeling awful, you know who to blame. March 8th, fake news, CNN. Tr oh, let's call the Trump virus Trump's Katrina. March 9th, Washington Post. That would be Eric Pop the Pimples newspaper. Oh, it's Trump's Chernobyl. March 13th, the nation claiming Republican xenophobia is going to make this pandemic much worse. And just this week over there at MSDNC, one of their so-called genius conspiracy theorists saying tens of thousands of people will die because of Trump's coronavirus incompetence. Okay, make it up as you go along. Forget facts, forget truth, forget that there is a nationwide emergency. The media has been, continues to be obsessed with using anything to bludgeon President Trump politically. We do have an election in 208 days. Don't think that's not playing a part in what they're thinking and how they're talking and what they feel. They don't even want to cover the president's press conferences important information for the American people in the middle of a pandemic and a national emergency. Wow, they must really hate him a lot as we've learned over the last three plus years. There are tens of thousands of people who will die in the country or have some of them have already died, more are still going to die mm -hmm. because of Donald Trump's incompetence and lack of leadership. Here we have a president who is exploiting a national crisis to move forward his own agenda, his own revenge, his own profit. But he's still acting reckless and unmoored. He still can't rise to the occasion. What we saw was a hijacking hijacking of the task force press conference by a president determined to rewrite the history of his early and reprehensibly irresponsible response to this virus. This was a 9-11 level failure of the federal government. It was. It needs to be talked about and covered and scrutinized that way. Here in the United States, we are still not doing what we need to do to fight this deadly virus because of a complete lack of leadership. Reckless, unmoored, 9-11 failure. I'd say that would be the media mob and the Democrats too busy impeaching to go along with the travel ban, the quarantine, the extra travel bans, the subsequent travel bans. In order to justify these attacks, some of the media seem to be rooting for the pandemic to get worse. They're not part of the solution. They're not helping in any way. In reality, the curve now shows the signs of flattening, hospitalizations thankfully going down, medicine 
from testing to treatment is catching up.